Hi, everybody. Welcome to Clark TV's Carol Jones Show. And I'm your show host, Carol Jones. Let me tell you something. I've got a great show today. And if you're missing this, man, shame on you. My guest today is absolutely amazing. I'm super excited about it. But before I start and introduce my guest and tell you all her bio, because it's a whole lot, let us go to the throne of grace. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Father God, we want to say thank, 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 Father, God, continue to be the blessing that you have been in my life and others' life and continue to bless those that need you, God. Bless my guest today, God, and let this be an amazing show, God, because you're an awesome God. You're a great God. I love you. I adore you. We praise you. Amen. Amen. So as I was telling you, because I don't have a whole bunch of time, but I got enough time to tell you who this guest is. Some of you may know this guest because you listen to this guest every day. If you don't, shame on you because you need to be. But anyways, <laughs> let me tell you my guest. Her name is Darlene McCoy Jackson. She was born Darlene Janice Jackson. She's an American urban inspirational and gospel singer, songwriter, nationally syndicated and radio personality who's an author, a speaker, and award-winning Christian R&B recording artist. Her music career began back in 2005 when she released her single, Fallen in Love, by M-E-M-I -E Gospel. The song appeared in the platform that was selling soundtrack of Tyler Perry's Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Darlene released the extended play version, Fallen in Love, on April 24th of 2007. The release of her album, Darlene McCoy, executive produced by Super producer Dallas Austin quickly followed in May of 2007, earning her type 15 billboard presence on the Urban AC charts. The album was her breakthrough release on the Billboard magazine chart and also placed in the gospel album chart at number 22. The album got a nomination in the 39th GMA Dub Awards for the Urban Album of the Year. And while that song simply because was nominated for the Urban Recorded Song of the Year, Tony Cummings stating in a mind out of 10 reviews by the Cross Rhythms, realizes that the album was all in, in all outstanding out urban album, out urban gospel. Darlene released the single, I Shall Live and Not Die, 2011, May 17, making its way to the number two hit billboard chart of the hot gospel songs. The first African American female, the host of the nationally syndicated nighttime radio show, The Nightly Spirit. Darlene has consistently maintained number one in her markets of the stellar awards winning Urban One stations, reaching six million homes across the country nightly. An industry icon, her story career has included numerous accolades and acknowledgments and a multiple national media features and mentions of high profile house appearances. She is highly respected and she's recognized not only for her success, but also for the contributing to the success of other artists. In October of 2022, Darlene McCoy Jackson will be inducted into the Black Radio Hall of Fame. Woo woo, that's what I'm talking about. This is exciting and it's a monumental time that will be enjoyed with longtime friend and love of her life, model actor Alfonso Aquitum Jackson. The two were married February of 2022 and the wedding will air on the fall of VH1's My Celebrity Dream Wedding. Follow her new husband on his Instagram. Let me tell you something. Was that a lot? That was a lot. Well, I'm sitting up here like, why did they give you the whole history? <laughs> Super <laughs> important. Oh my gosh. That is an amazing bio, girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> like, oh my God. Who gave her all of that stuff? <laughs> You know what? We ain't all got it like that, but when you got it, you need to brag about it. I'm trying to tell you, girl, your accolades are amazing. Yeah, that's all I can say. You know, it's it's been a long journey. Yeah. Um, and it started it started, you know, 
in, in a great place. And yes. I just thank God that he just continues to use me wherever I am. And um, and now here I am on your show. So You know what, girl? I am so honored to have you on my show. And it's thank amazing. You. I remember to back in 2000, I think it was, mm -hmm. on the set. And I said, she's amazing. Your voice Aww. is just on point for the nation. Amen thank for you. you. Yeah. Thank you, sis. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. You. You're amazing. And congratulations. You're Murray, Mom. Murray. I was married. <laughs> I was married now. Yes. And at the end, and I got married at the age of 50. So it's just really cool, you know, just just at this time and at this stage in my life, yeah. you know, to um, you know, to have, I guess, you know, God just wanted to just wait until, you know, everything it was. I was at the, way. The right, at the right time. You know yeah. what I mean? It was just the right time. Yeah. To, to be in my life. And I'm just so blessed. Oh my God. So blessed by it. And you're blessed with an amazing husband. Yes. Yes. He is incredible. Like I, I, I can't say enough about him. Um I'm very excited about his career as well. He was just in a movie, um, a Netflix feature film that went number one last month with um Gerard Butler. It's called Last Seen Alive. So he played in that movie and he actually had three movies to release this year. And we're just praying and believing God for more next year. Yeah. 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 So got some acting going on coming up too. I, I might. <laughs> for me, well, personally, um, I am working. Actually, you caught me on the day that I, well, the day before. I meet with my director because I'm I'm looking to have a one woman show next year that um, I'll get an opportunity to because I released a book this year as well called and then she turned 50 because um, in that particular book is to encourage you know yeah. us women yeah. because sometimes we feel like you know like I just said I got married at 50 sometimes we feel like oh my god this is too late for me to do this it's too late for me to do that but yeah. when we are blessed with the opportunity to get to age 50 you gotta look back and say everything else in the past is my foundation so now i'm getting ready to launch from a new place yeah. um here, now this is a new place there's wisdom and whatnot and i want to pour that out i yeah. want to you know with this with this one woman show i really feel a um, a tug on my life for women um and and because i've been through a lot i've been through a lot a lot you heard the accolades you heard the the glory right but i have a story i have several yeah. stories yeah and and you know i feel like the scripture says that you'll be overcome by the word of the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony and i want to act it out i want to show you know i you know from 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 singing to acting to ministering and then comedy on top of that. Like I want people to <laughs> laugh. I want them to get in all of their feelings. Yeah. And yeah. um and you know, we are gonna start pulling all the stories out and getting the script started tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. Oh, that's absolutely amazing. And I know I can feel the inspiration would have come from the man that you're married to because you're at a point in your life now that I can do me, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't have to yes. I can do me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Really how God allows you to do everything you're going through, and there's things that you're wanting right now, and He says it's not the season. I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. I'll yeah. tell you. And yeah. and you know you're 50, and and I get it because a lot of women feel like, gosh, the time is up. It's over. I'm old. Who's gonna want me? And and mm -hmm. why? You know. <laughs> And, and, and I, I get know it. where we get all of those negative vibes from, <laughs> but wherever they came from, they need to go back because it's not God's truth about it. Exactly, exactly. And so I get what you're talking about. You know, turning fifty, and and I'm turning sixty, and I'm thinking, what? Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah. 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 Sixty so with eleven kids, eleven grandkids, and wow. Yeah. So. <laughs> I get it. And and praise God, you know, when God sends you a good thing, it's a great thing. You're right. You're right. I, and I, I never imagined. I really didn't. Because honestly, 
I, I went through a divorce. You know, I have three children and we got grand, I have grandchildren and whatnot, but, uh, but they're all, I say children, but they're all grown, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know, but I was in a marriage for 17 and a half, almost 18 years Wow. and divorced. And then, um, 10 years later, I got married again. Yeah. And, and it's like, um, you just go through all of these layers of, of change and, and, but the beautiful thing, the only thing I, I, I really celebrate about all of it is that every, every one of my steps was ordered by God. I don't, I have no regrets. Yeah. Um, and what God had for me was, you know, cause I went through that phase in my forties. I was just like, I ain't getting married. I don't care. I already did it before. <laughs> I don't need no man up here. I got this over here. <laughs> I went through all of that. It's like, I ain't never trying to get married again. And I was not right. in a place to even, you know, and everybody thought that I was the meanest woman to, that like, and she's, you don't want to date her. She, she got that, she got that Heisman thing going and she pushes dudes back. And it's like, I really understand that I'm, um, first of all, a mom, you know, mm -hmm. I don't care how old my boys are and my daughter. I yeah. feel like I still have a responsibility That's you right. know, to, right. to be an example for them. So they, they didn't see me doing a whole bunch of nothing <laughs> but being a mom and a working mother, you know. Exactly, but, exactly. But, but, but when but hindsight is twenty twenty. you know, my husband and I met. We met months after my divorce. Oh. Friends. Right. For five years. And wow. it's like. And I would have, like, during the, the, that five-year period, we would have never thought we would date each other. Right. Because we were really friends. We were just like, ah, oh, you know, that's just fun. He's like, oh, you know, Starling. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then it just, you know, God had something different. He had something different. So we are actually um, coming together, and we're going to write out that story because yeah. there's so much depth to the story because um, mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the biggest things was is you know once we did start to notice that we had chemistry yeah we were looking like why didn't we date a long time ago you know <laughs> and he and he said you know because our belief systems would clash i don't believe in god Ooh. oh my god i don't believe in god so that in itself is a yeah. story and a journey that yeah. went from one extreme to at to the absolute other extreme. Yeah. And um, just to watch how I would say that God changed his life because I'm sure that's what everybody's interested in me saying. Yeah. But but I would really like to say how much God changed my life Ooh. through his testimony. Wow. Um, and we want to write stories about that. We want people to yeah. see that sometimes we have God in a box. And sometimes, uh, most times we have God in a box. We think that we have God pegged. We think that we know all, uh, you know, how to bring it all together. You know, we think that all we got to do is pray for somebody and lead them to a scripture and uh, throw some oil on them. And then you're going to cast devil. Nah, he's so much bigger than that. He's so much more powerful than that. And yeah. his plans are a whole lot more calculated than that. Yeah, and sometimes definitely. we just have to find ourselves, yes. you know, in the in the uh, in alignment with what God is doing right now, so um, I want we want to talk about it because He's on some like His whole life change. Interesting that you say that. The reason years ago He wasn't supposed to be in your life is because you were all about your works with God and all about what you had to accomplish, and God placed you where you needed to be at the time you needed to be there because. He saw God through you and he had to be at a point in his season where he was ready to receive that. And mm. I say that because that's also my testimony. My husband, he was not in Christ and, and he didn't know God, but you know, he's a retired okay. military soldier, mm -hmm. but he had always professed if God brings me through this war or whatever, you know, I'll give myself to God. And he didn't know God at all mm. and i mean today he's an elder you know and, it, and it's amazing the transition that you see how mm. god does things yes. I mean, his walk is stronger than mine i've been in church my whole entire life but mm. i know god spiritually he knows god yeah. biblically theologically yeah. like yeah 
Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. your relationship with God and the inspiration that you receive through your music and just mm-hmm. worship and blossoms and it blesses people abundantly. Mm-hmm. And sometimes he needed to hear that in the season that he needed to receive it. I mean, yeah. I don't know anything, but I'm feeling it, you know? <laughs> yeah. I actually, I had a song and this is when, like, because the first two and a half years was hard mm-hmm. um, because you know, it to know me is to know I do not play when it comes about my God. I don't Dang. play no games with nobody. And I'm not getting ready to argue with nobody about my Jesus. So no. that's what I, I mean. It's just like rough. Right. <laughs> right. Two, and half, right. two and a half years was a struggle, you know. Yeah. Um, and I, I I wrote a song called Even Me. Mm. Um I hear you calling me, your spirit drawing me, even me, you know, um, and I released it. And it's a real urban, inspirational kind of R&B sounding song, but I was inspired by it. I was inspired to write it in conversation um, because everybody knows I have no problem having all kinds of friends. I ain't got no problem being around nobody. And And people know that. That's just who I am. But I was talking to a brother who owned a strip club and he was trying to get me to start coming there and this is a funny day so it could be a long story but i am gonna make it short he wanted me to start coming there to start praying for this for the young ladies and whatnot. i was like no <laughs> but i'm not doing it sir <laughs> that is not what god but but we were having this conversation just about the need um, for people to understand God is bigger than we think. And sometimes yeah. God is drawing. Yeah. Um, and, and he sometimes, you know, his, you know, he said, he said, not by power, not by mind, but by my spirit. Yeah. I will draw people. And, you know, we were just talking about that. And that's the, that the, the foundation of the song came from that. Cause God can call anybody. Absolutely. Anybody. Um, and, it, and it brought to mind the young lady, the woman at the well, when Jesus was like sitting by the well and he said, woman, give me a drink. And she was looking at him like, me? You know, you can't even talk to me, right? I'm like, straight up Samaritan. <laughs> you can't talk to me. But, but he, had his, he had her life on his heart, you know? And, and that song, Even Me, has... has everybody's life on his heart so what was really cool is after i wrote the song i needed a video yeah and alfonso was inspired to write the video and he didn't even profess the god yet wow wow he had this vision for the video he cast it for the video he produced it he directed the video and the video has the biggest message for everybody and the song and it just went right with it and at first I was just like you ain't even touching my stuff you crazy you know, you know, the but the Lord was like I, that's my son I'm doing something with him let him let him and um he has a friend he has a friend that is a staunch atheist okay he even had his friend in the, in the video, and his friend couldn't wait to be a part of the video. Wow. So I'm like, you know what, God, I can't direct what God is going to do with somebody's life. Yeah. All I can do is let God do it. And um, once they got finished, it was like their favorite song, and, they're just, and it was just another seed yeah. you know, in the right direction to, to right. bring him to right. where God is taking him. So it's just been beautiful. It's a beautiful journey. And, and, um, you know, we, we have that to look back on and, you know, he starred in the video and, you know, it was just like, I was just like, hey, this is, this is powerful. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people don't know that story. But yeah. That story, yeah. that testimony alone is amazing. And honestly, I don't know anything. I didn't know anything about what you just said, but I, I felt it through you. I just, I felt that spirit transcending through your music, delivering people that didn't even know God. Look at you. That's, that's, that's all God. And yeah. um, we just can't be afraid of people. We can't. Yeah. We yeah. can't. Um, we don't have, um, we don't have the authority right. or the power to right. tell somebody that God ain't talking to them. Oh, boy. Or God ain't drawing them. Or, 
You know, I don't like we I've I've seen too much. I've seen God too many do too many powerful and amazing things mm -hmm. than than to think he can't because I remember during the, the that two and a half years I was telling you about, I told you really hard. <laughs> I remember at one point God said to me, He said, Be careful that you don't become the atheist. Mm. Because I said, I am doing a new thing and I am pouring my spirit on all flesh. Wow. We're in the last days. You son yes. are going to prophesy. Yes. And in these days, we can't pick and choose who God is going to use, who God is going to change, whose life, how their life is going to be affected. We cannot pick and choose their journey because they're already on it. God is the one that's sent them. And right. we, we have to humble ourselves in such that's a way right. that we're like, God, okay, so whatever you want me to do. I surrender. I said, you have to surrender. Let it go, and yeah. and and it, I don't know if, how long you've been in the in gospel, but there used to be a song that he says, "I gave it up," and that's when you bless me. You yeah. remember that song? That's, that's when you bless me. me. Yes, and um, and it wasn't until I gave up on him, I, and we had, and that's all going to be in the book. I gave up on him. Wow! I said, God, I can't do this. I can't do it. And then that's, that's when God started to change his life. Yeah, yeah. You took your hands off and he was mm -hmm. dead through you. Yeah. And your, you oh my Jesus, that's a story. Yeah. That yeah. Oh, your women's show is going to be amazing. I can see it right now. Because <laughs> so many women, they do deliver men and men don't even understand that. I don't even know that we understand it, but God speaks to us and he gives us some things that are so powerful that yeah. he does some things and it breaks through some things and Girl, that story is amazing. I Thank know you. that you have to get on your show and you got to go. But I need people to know how they can reach you, what they need to do to follow you. Yeah. 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 Everything that you're doing. Get it out. Pour it out. Well, I want to tell you, uh, my website is imdarlene.com. It's very simple. I can be reached through the website. Just click on contact. It comes directly to me and my staff. Um, but I'm on Instagram. I'm still at Darlene McCoy. I have the blue check. Darlene McCoy, you gotta come the real Darlene. I'm the real one's got the blue. <laughs> so at Darlene McCoy on Instagram and on Twitter, and I am Darlene on Facebook is the way to reach me. But you can listen to me on at you know at, at a city near you, um, yeah. or you can pull it up on on the TuneIn app from seven to eleven p.m. every night, um, Monday well Monday through Friday um, on the nightly spirit. So yeah. Amen for you, girl, girl. Amen, amen, amen. And God's going to bless you abundantly. And, I appreciate and it. And husband of yours. And Thank the upcoming you. show. And the upcoming girl. You got so much going on. Got to keep pushing. You thought you were done. Nope, I knew I wasn't. <laughs> When I got to that 50 mark, I was like, all right, I'm getting started. Who are we at? Who are we going? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes. 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 Well, amen for you. Good luck for you. And praise God for you being on my show today. Okay, listen, you all heard it directly from Darlene McCoy. Tap into her Instagram. There's only one Darlene McCoy, her radio show. She's an amazing hostess and personality. And this gospel song that she's done and she's platinum. You gotta tap into her music. Darlene McCoy is one of a kind, and um, this amazing woman. She's leaving us, but you all know how to get in touch with her. And I want to thank you for joining me, Miss McCoy. Yay! Thank you, girl, and thanks for having me. God bless you and your yes. show. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, everybody, for joining the show. We'll see you next Thursday on the Carol Jones Show with Clark TV Network. Bye, Miss McCoy. Bye. All right.